Welcome to our show. Today we're with Mr. Sandy Chow, the founder of Civic Leadership USA, and we're going to talk about the coming great event in Washington, D.C., that is National Civic Leadership Forum. So uh, tell us, give us a brief introduction about this uh, event. Oh, this event is really very exciting because we are, as Asian Americans, we'll come of age, and it is about time that uh, we'll have the unity and then we should have the coalition and it's so appropriate that Asian American <coughs> Unity Coalition is uh, taking charge of this organization and then very thankful to SK Lo for her leadership and organization skill to make it a very successful one. You mentioned about the Asian American Unity and the coalition. So why is it so important for Asian Americans to work together? I think it's just that the um, uh, USA is always, always attracting the best talent from different uh, places uh, in the world. And then the, uh, uh, earlier, it is the crossing of the Atlantic to make USA a big melting pot. And now, I think it's the age of uh, crossing the Pacific to the United States. And the Asian play a very, very significant, very, very significant role uh, in that. And then it, it is the fast-growing uh, ethnic group. And I think it's just uh, this time the, the new uh, uh, wave of people coming in are really the people that really can uh, contribute most because uh, the new immigrants uh, and the new Amer uh, Asian Americans here, they are highly educated and highly motivated. And then they have the right uh, makeup of a strong America. Like they constant, they very, very emphasize on, the, uh, on education and hard work and their willingness to sacrifice so therefore, U.S. is very fortunate to have this group of uh, uh, newcomers uh, to the United States. And I really believe that our participation will make uh, U.S. a very strong one. You mentioned about newcomers. Uh, who are the, those newcomers? I know that there are so, so many other groups uh, to participate and become an organizer and co-organizer for this uh, uh, National Civic Leadership Forum, right? Yeah, basically, the, uh, what we were ta talking about, the power of the Asian Americans. Right now, the United States, we have about maybe 20, 22 million uh, Asian Americans uh, here. And, um, and the, the average uh, education level, the average income, and then the average uh, in terms of participation into society in the workforce is very influential. And then the, um, but, uh, but somehow, uh, what we are anticipating is that uh, uh, in a few years, uh, by, I think it's, um, um, by some, some, some estimate, the Asian American would actually would exceed 40 million. And then in that case, uh, will be a very significant part of the United States. And so therefore, I think the coalition and the, uh, the unity of it would uh, make significant uh, coordinated and concerted efforts to, uh, to contribute to the society and at the same time uh, would be really in the footstep of, uh, of, of making a more, more progress for the future. I think uh, the Asian Americans uh, will make a significant contribution. I think that you know many people like me, and uh, we think that you are like a spiritual leader and an inspiration to this uh, civic movement. So, what does this mean to you? Oh, basically, it's just the uh, I, I felt that it is necessary to to um, to spend some some our creative efforts and then our our energy in the right area. Historically. Uh, what the Asian Americans uh, are concentrated is on the professional uh, work, uh, like engineer, 
in medical field, architecture, or legal field whatsoever, and they're only a very small portion of the society. And then uh, what I feel that, what, what I felt is just that we should be uh, participate in every part of the society. And then uh, to me, I've, I feel that sooner or later we'll uh, populate all those uh, areas. Uh, and then, but however, I always like sooner than later. So therefore basically, to me, it's just I really would like to see that not only we contribute in the area of work, but also would like to see the Asian America will contribute in the area of leadership in the society. Mm -hmm. That means that they will participate uh, in the legislative uh, area, in the commissioned area, in the society and, and everything. We will we'll very much like integrate into the society. And then also, uh, there are very few people actually uh, aspire to work in the government. Mm -hmm. And I always feel that the U.S. Uh, is really the best uh, the democracy in the world, and the government operates despite of, uh, of the urgency and encouragement that we should do better. Uh, then uh, a better government uh, actually deserve uh, the best. So therefore, uh, I, I actually encourage the Asian Americans actually to participate uh, and work for the government mm -hmm. in the sense that I think uh, a, a strong democracy and strong government deserve the best to contribute. So therefore, to end, the Asian Americans uh, are really, really very good in the area of uh, uh, in the job uh, placement and everything. But somehow, Asian Americans should actually participate in the civil area. Mm -hmm. So this is why the National uh, Civil Leadership Forum would be so important. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then it's so appropriate uh, that uh, this organization uh, is this uh, meeting and everything will be led by the Asian American Unity Coalition. And, and then I emphasize again, unity is so important that we not only unify our force, actually we unify the whole United States. And coalition is so important because a lot of uh, different ethnic groups, like they are very strong in their own community, and the Chinese in their own community, the Korean, the, the Asian Indians, and then the, uh, the Japanese, and then South Asian, like the Vietnamese, and, Cambodians, and then we have all the all group of people, and then we actually share a lot of uh, common uh, uh, value. That because uh, we value family, uh, we value education, we value contribution, and then we value that we give before we ask for return. I think uh, this giving uh, attitude. Uh, is something that I would think U.S. used to build on it, and then uh, we only want to strengthen it. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that uh, the, the right area, I believe that many Asian Americans, they really want to participate in politics, want to participate in the civic engagement, but they feel it's more comfortable for them to stay with their own you know, community. So how to break through this glass wall? The I, th I think we need a lot of role model, because the reason why is us a lot of times they when when you come to a new area you become timid, and then you don't want don't don't know whether people will accept you, and then you're so timid that whether you're good enough to contribute. But I think as us everything needs uh, the first step, and then it takes courage, uh, but somehow also it needs some role model and some, uh, somebody who actually uh, paving the road uh, for everyone. So, so in such a case, uh, whenever we have certain uh, uh, leaders actually want to stand up on the civil er area, I think this is something that uh, every one of you will be so happy, so encouraged uh, to do it. So when they, when somebody's uh, 
about to step up, we have to really admire them. Because in the civil area, it takes some um, dedication to it. It takes some training, and then you need some talent. You need to be able to have broad knowledge, and then you need to have some uh, skill in communication, verbally and in written form. And then also you need some charisma. You'll be very uh, comfortable with 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 people. So therefore, all all this when they come up with us, I think uh, for all the rest of the same people from ethnic group or same for all the Asian American should really really very happy to encourage that because that would take a lot of uh, sacrifice, a lot of uh, sacrifice in terms of they could have uh, make a lot of money in terms of their concentrate in their own profession or in business. And then also, uh, one thing we have to admire is that the willingness uh, of privacy uh, uh, to, be, uh, to be open. So therefore, basically, all these things are uh, things that needed to be in, in, in serving the, the server and be a leader in it. And, and I think uh, uh, with enough momentum, and then we may be able to cross the critical mass. And then I really hope that the turning point uh, will happen soon for the Asian Americans. When you're talking about the role model, almost sounds like a multi-talented, perfect hero. <laughs> and many people will think, oh, well, I'm not good enough for that. So what about, you know, there are some people, they have the willingness, want to stand up and become a civic leader. And what do you want to say to them? I, I think it's very much so uh, in, the, in the way of this is something they're not uh, used to it when they are from their own original country. Yeah. And then the, uh, in the new area, uh, you have to be more comfortable. And then the, uh, what I think is uh, a lot of times people are so conscious mm -hmm. that if I, if I do it, uh, people uh, will not appreciate me. Uh, people may be laugh at me. And then the, uh, these are all due to a fear of failure. And that was a lot of times it would prevent us to do it. But somehow it's us. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the majority of our, of our society, I think it's us that uh, we'll, the, the culture is such a way, uh, un, un, unless you can uh, improve your, uh, yourself, you, 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 you actually do it. When you, when you do it, that is the time that you can you will know whether what you do will be effective or not effective. So, um, so, so that, that means that you have to step up to the plate and then not, not consider uh, people do not accept you at the beginning, not consider people will laugh at you, and you just doing follow what your your conviction uh, uh, place, and then you just continue to do it, and and I think uh, this society is actually quite forgiving, because we have seen a lot of people, uh, it's encouraging people who are willing to step up, and willing to do it for everyone. If you're sincere, people will accept you. When you at the beginning you are. You may not do it perfect, people would uh, encourage you. Mm -hmm. So therefore, basically, this society actually is ready for us, mm -hmm. and we just should be uh, ready for the society. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, with the continuation of attitude to improve yourself, mm -hmm. and then to really to listen, and then really to be with the uh, general public, mm -hmm. I would say with that dedication and that heart, I would say uh, uh, for whoever wants to contribute uh, will be welcomed. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I think it's, uh, I, 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 I felt I, I've been with a lot of young, young people, and then the, uh, the timid uh, is a lot of times uh, some, somewhat with the older generation. And then I would say just let it go 
and then the uh, good thing will happen. Mm. For me, you are a truly a role model because all these years you, you sincerely contribute your time, your energy, your heart, and your money to this. What do you wish to say in the next five or ten years for the Asian Americans in the civic engagement? I, I, I would say we can contribute greatly in the area of civil engagement. Uh, number one is that, that the, uh, in the area of we are really uh, encouraging our youth uh, to thrive and then to work hard and then uh, and be generous to to <coughs> as a youth. So therefore, I, I would say a lot of uh, Asian uh, uh, American youth are having tutorial programs and then they give the, uh, whatever they have some uh, savings. And, and I've seen a lot of community, they actually donate uh, the toys and uh, uh, computer or cell phone to uh, to the poorer area. I think there's a heart. Uh, I think there's a good will to it. And then, and then, and then again, uh, for school board and then for uh, a lot of professional uh, development whatsoever, we should participate uh, significantly. And then also, we we should not be afraid to run for the <coughs> office for like city council, state. Uh, assembly, state senate, and then the um, uh, county supervisor, all the way to the to the Congress, because I think uh, our our talents and and our willingness and our ethic of uh, working hard uh, could contribute significant to the society. And then you mentioned in five years, so I I really hope that the uh, not uh, only that. Um, uh, we contribute to the, our own network and our own community. We should expand more into the major community, and uh, and also I think the uh, uh, among the Asian Americans because uh, we do have a different culture whatsoever, but somehow we actually share a lot of common uh, ethic and common goal, and we should really have more unity and more coalition that that together I think we can really provide uh, uh, more contribution to the society that uh, I think uh, with that kind of attitude, uh, that kind of influence, I think you, you, you as uh, would uh, appreciate uh, uh, this dedication. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the, the, the whole country will be a stronger and better in the future. Together we will provide more contribution. This time actually National Civic Leadership Forum is a good example for many of the group to work together to make this happen. They are mm -hmm. the CRUSE and APAPA, Asian American Unity Coalition and the API and UC and many other organizations. And so what do you want to deliver the message to all the, all the leaders from the group? I would say we should expand our horizon. The, uh, uh, we should be more <coughs> in the open and make other people to appreciate. Because a lot of times that uh, we're, a lot of times uh, we're always uh, in our comfort zone. When we're in a comfort zone, we actually involve in much narrower and we should be broaden our our scope, and then uh, so what I see is this: that every uh, subgroup of the Asian American, they're very strong. They have a lot of uh, unity and common common uh, goal, and but somehow together we really have a lot of similar similarity, because uh, we really encourage uh, family. Um, get together, family union. We really are very, very, uh, very concerned of our uh, extended family. Uh, we respect our elder in 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 more earnest and sincerity, and we care about the future. And then I will say, it's very important. We really care about the future because I think. Uh, 
for Asian Americans come to this country. We want to build a better future for everyone. And then so paving the road and then the, uh, with the level of sacrifice, level of uh, goodwill, I would say we could pave the road for the whole society and then uh, pay, and giving a much stronger foundation for the future. And I think the era of Pacific uh, crossing uh, will be uh, even stronger than ever for a stronger America. Mm -hmm. So today we're with Mr. Sandy Chow, the entrepreneur, the investor, and the spiritual leader for many of us, and also the founder of Civic Leadership USA. Uh, I really like what he said, work out of your comfort zone and united we stand for better future for United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.